the tree bears. Hi guys, Greg here, Sightench, and today I'm going to take you for the flight around the London Build Expo, the festival of construction, so let's go. This lovely little cover meter here provides connection directly to an app. So when I've taken my scans instantaneously, I can see this area of scan data here and showing up in the red, we've got our areas that are below our cover meter depth that we wish to see. If we want to make a small change, say actually we want 30 millimeters to cover, instantly it's identifying the areas that we are most at risk. If I just give a quick swipe like that, I get the statistics of the cover, rebar spacing. If there's any rebar diameter information, that would be held there. And again, you can see a really good, strong signal strength there from the cover meter data that was taken. Spacing shown along the top, and all of this is exportable via these formats, including DXF, which you can use on AutoCAD. CSV data can be integrated as well to merge into a greater database on there. And if I wanted to flick to another app, I can go straight to my ground penetrating radar it's going to show me the rebar configuration in very much detailed in 3D. I can flip again between the screens to see a plan view, slide down to different depths, and then flick again and I come up with a slice view showing the cross section of the concrete slab. And here's a conventional GPR data hyperbolas that is the ground of all of this information that we use for our um, AI and algorithms to actually calculate all of this. Hi guys, come see Geotech stand F54 at the London Build Show. Learn more about Smart Rock and how it can save you time and money on your programme. Some of the benefits of using Euroloo, especially on our eco welfare range, uh, we're 100% powered by solar, which not only means uh, silent operation when it's uh, under solar power, we've got uh, telematics, uh, digital output and input screens to show us when the waste tanks are full, when they need uh, emptying so the users on site don't have that issue, and we've got rainwater harvesting on the roof, which helps with uh, flushing of the toilets, service intervals as we've got a full proper flushing toilet are um, three weeks, two to three weeks as opposed to the standard chemical toilets which can be like every week if not more. Um, so it's just like having the convenience you've got at home in a mobile terrible welfare unit. And this is our 12 foot, our most popular one. Um, all the facilities inside, you've got microwave, kitchen, lights. You walk in, the lights come on, you walk out, five minutes later the lights shut down. So it's really working energy efficient and it's as near to net zero we can get and low emission. RISCAT is a software, CAD software, and it's an all-in-one platform with an interoperability for DWG, IFC, you can import it, export it, and you can edit it. You can also import um, Revit and export it, which is a benefit. It's an all-in-one platform, very user-friendly, 
and it's nice to use. You can customize it whatever you want. If you transition from another company, another cat, it's very nice to use. We have a lot of users worldwide, 400,000 users worldwide. Um, engineers, architects, um, construction companies, uh, all that. So it's great to use. If you like to use CAD, 2D, 3D, BIM, mechanical, how by with, with our stand, try it out, download it for free, 30 days to use, and yeah, let's get to work. Grab our left back lifter, we'll lift up to 170 kg. Got a seal at the bottom, which is replaceable. Turn it on, very small suction, powered by a lithium ion battery. Pop that in there, pop the seal on there, clip it in place, and let's lift this radiator. There we go, look at that. You can see the seal through there. Turn it off, release, the same applies to the paving. There we go. You need a set of biceps for that. Down there you got a curb stone. If you lift this with me, it's an 80 kg slab. Look at that. Thank you very much. That'll be all in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I got something for my uh, junior engineer.